Well, the Mental Toughness Academy has embarked on a very important mission to teach the only real protection from all that negativity and abuse. And here it is, building a child's self-confidence. If your child has that confidence, be able to hear any criticism with perspective and maturity so they don't get hurt. They're able to bounce back easily from mistakes and setbacks. And our mission and purpose is to help kids in sports feel confident so they can receive the tremendous benefits that playing sports offers. Also, so they'll be protected from all those hurts and, and the destructive comments that come from abusive coaches, parents, and even teammates. So how can kids in sports develop that confidence? Well, there's several ways that parents can start out and help their children by, number one, giving them unconditional encouragement. Number two, give them a bigger perspective on playing their sport and how it fits into their life. There's many excellent national programs for coaches and parents to learn how to positively influence their kids' sports participation. The problem is, Parents can't count on their child's coach to have taken or even, have, or even to buy into any of these trainings. And very few coaches have taken any kind of training. So parents, helping your child build up your self-confidence, that's really the best assurance that you can get that your child will be able to overcome adversity and be successful in their sport and later on in their life. To start off, parents need to create a safe place for their kids to air their fears and insecurities. Mental Toughness Academy, we put out an ebook called The Ten Commandments for Being a Great Sports Parent to help advise parents on how to do this, on how to establish positive and open communications and create safe environments for kids to be able to share their feelings. In order for parents to understand their child's insecurities, you need to remember that the number one priority for a teen or a preteen is to fit in. If parents notice that their child is being less social, and need to find out why. If they hear excuses for not going to practice, it's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with them to get to the bottom of it. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.